Well, good morning, guys and ladies. It is December 30th. Welcome to another edition of uh, Daylight to Dark Fishing. Uh, so one of my subscribers mentioned that I hadn't introduced myself in quite some time, and he was right. Uh, it's been a while. My name is actually Brian Browning. I live in uh, Tallahassee, Florida. But today, I'm actually down in Central Florida on Lake Blue, Blue Care. <laughs> Blue Care, I think it is. I'm sure I'm butchering the name. It's part of the Harris Chain, right next to Lake Dora. I'm down visiting family for the holidays, and I thought it'd be a good chance to get out here and fish somewhere different. And uh, I put in on this lake and just started off right by the boat ramp because there was a little bit of a drop off near the shore. And I've actually caught three or four crappie now. They're not the giant crappie that I catch up in Lake Talquin, but guys hang with me I'm gonna get out here and see if I can figure out how to catch crappie out of these lakes on the Harris chain see if we can catch anything any decent size and uh, just kind of enjoy fishing a new area all right guys we're just gonna start off with the same jig that I've been using up in North Florida this is that ATX and that custom pumpkin seed green and chartreuse with an eighth ounce I want to say that's an ACC head looks like it anyway but we're gonna start out with that and see how it does and see if we can figure out how to find these fish now one thing I've noticed different is this is all grass fishing there's no uh, I haven't seen a stump out here yet but uh, there's a few fish around I just got to figure out what crappie look like and a good way to locate them Claire, I think maybe I got that right. get that right. I'm butchering the name of this lake. Just a little guy. I don't know what size they are on this lake. I've heard they're not monsters, but I have heard there are some one pounders, but we still got a little ways to go to find the one pounder, but at least we're on the board. Again, just a little guy, but hey, we're in a new lake, catching fish. Looks like the way to catch them here would be to troll. They're hidden down in that grass. I can't see them. I can just see my jig and ease it along right, right across the top of the grass, and they'll just come flying up out of that grass and grab it. shallow there we go still not very big but hey it's catching a few fish there we go guys there we go that's a better fish <laughs> now we talking there's a nice Lake Beauclair crappie. That's getting to be good eating size there. Caught on to something now. I'm gonna try to fool with them. There he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Too easy, guys. Too easy. He's swimming around under the front of the boat here. I've got my jig all torn up. Yep, there he is. 
Watch out, fish loose on the boat. <laughs> Alright, we having fun. Heck yeah. <laughs> I don't know what size it got to be to keep in this lake. It looks like all the ones I'm catching are about nine inches long, maybe occasional 10 incher. monster fish by any means but <laughs> it's just so easy to catch them here's my jig oh there he came got him right there I'm bringing him in Guys, I have accomplished the task of catching fish in Central Florida and finding fish in Central Florida. It looks like the next task is going to be see if I can find a way to catch some bigger fish. Surely there's some bigger, bigger ones. You see them coming right there. Here he comes. Oh, he, oh I'm, <laughs> he had it and I lost him. I will say this, guys, are very. They must be spawning. They're super aggressive, although they don't look like they're full of row or anything. I'm coming after it. He got it right there. I got him. Decent fish. There he is. Got a little fish. Don't see one, just little ones. We're in a mess of them. I got them all coming after it. <laughs> he got it right there. Got him. All the crappie guys. You see that? It's all crappie in that grass right in front of the boat. we're talking about that's what we're looking for right there big old freaking slab crappie now that's the size that's a lake talcum size crappie right there i assume this is a a stud crappie for this lake well, that's over a pound that's a pound and a quarter fish right here he's 14 inches long at least nice big old crappie that's what we're looking for so i moved out in the deeper water and he was suspended all by himself guys a decent size one a little bigger in this deeper water 
just not very many of them, they're scattered. All right guys, now we're going through the canal into Lake Dora. Never been on this lake, this will be my first time, so we're gonna just ease out here and look at our chart and see what we can see that looks similar to where we just find, found those fish in Lake Beauclair. See if that pattern holds up. I tried looking for them with my sonar and I could see a fish or two, but I couldn't see I couldn't see anything that would make it viable to just idle around looking for them because um, there's just too much grass in these lakes. They're just very, very grassy. But I got an idea what to look for now, so we'll see if uh, we'll see if it holds up in a whole new lake and see if we can find some. I talked to a guy came by and talked to me and. He asked me if I'd caught any. I told him I'd probably caught 50 of them. He said nobody else he talked to said, he said they can catch any today. So I don't know if that was just a fluke or not. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to say that makes me feel good, but I don't know. That kind of makes me worry that I might have just got lucky. But we'll see, guys. We'll see if we can find some on this lake. All right, guys. Here's the lake. So I'm coming out into it. So we're going to zoom out on this chart. And we're gonna see what's on this lake that looks like it would hold fish. All right. So right off the bat, it looks like we got some pretty deep water right in here. So that's worth checking. We'll take a look at that. We got a gap right here that narrows down with some pretty tight contour lines right in this on the other side of this point and it looks pretty deep on this side so we need to go check that point out for sure let's see what else we see you guys can see this point right here this is where i caught them in this lake beauclair or beauclair however you pronounce it all right so running down this lake a ways looks like we got another pretty good point here and one here too So that's uh, a couple of three options to check right there. So let's go check those. Let's go check those areas and uh, see what we see. This one's going to be in the wind, so that's going to be pretty hard. But this should be out of the wind over here, so we might be able to do some fishing there. Let's go find out. All right, guys. So the first thing I've noticed as a mile and out of this canal is there is no grass out here in 10 feet of water. So that's another thing we're going to be looking for. We're going to see, we're going to find a spot where this dirt bottom turns into a grass edge with scattered grass and thick grass around it. So that'll be very similar to what we were just catching them on. Check out this fishing tractor, guys. Now that is quality work right there. I want you to look at all the structure they put down there. I don't see any crappie in it, but man, they did a heck of a job. I do see a few fish on a couple of those trees, but wow that's a that's a pretty nice fish attractor i mean they have got geez it looks like they put a hundred a hundred trees down right here it looks like those fake trees but uh boy did they put a bunch of them we might actually have to get the live scope out check that out there might actually be a a big fish or two suspended on that stuff I think we will. I think we'll. Uh, I think we'll live scope that. That's a pretty impressive fish attractor. Let's see if there's any fish on this fish attractor. Crappie. Nice, nice crappie. Much better than what we were catching this morning. Yeah, 
choppy on Lake Dora now. Just the opposite, out deep around the fishing track. How about that? The lake's full of crappie. guys a little bit of a struggle fighting these boat wakes but me and some bigger fish anyway nice eating size crappie two different ways. Yeah. <laughs> Another nice crappie. Nice crappie. There we go, guys. Lake Dora crappie. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Hey boy, he swallowed it. He just gulped it too. Another nice crappie. Alright guys and ladies, we're gonna end this video right here. I have caught a pile of crappie today. On uh Lake Buclair and Lake Dora both. Caught some up shallow trying to spawn. They were mostly males. And then of course I caught some out here in 14 foot of water around a fishing tractor I was going by. Most of the fish didn't seem to be on the fishing tractor structure, but just kind of scattered around uh, uh, randomly uh, in the vicinity, just suspended right down near the bottom. So uh, let me tell you what guys, uh, live scope works awesome down here. Casting, pitching to these fish works awesome. Had a great morning and uh, it's been fun. Nice way to spend a holiday with the in-laws. So you guys have a, 
great day and we will see you on the water next weekend.